What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with Tear Whistler Dog Shit. Another T Lad. This one's going to be incredibly quick, so we're adding another one to it. We're going to do the DD4 City characters. Uh, and again, keep in mind, everything I say here is uh, absolutely and totally my opinion. Uh, you should take none of it seriously or all of it seriously, depending on how you feel about me. And uh, Tear Whistler Dog Shit and people who follow them are also dog shit, and people who do them are dog shit. Hi. I'm dog shit. So, starting, we're doing city characters. Uh, this shouldn't be that difficult, right? Like, everybody knows city characters, how they exist and where they go. So, we're going to start with Anti-Venom. Great. We're going to go to Bullseye. Useless. We're going to do Carnage. Pretty good. Like, obviously not on his own, but with the symbiotes, great. Anti-Venom's good in his own. Carnage needs a little bit more help. Daredevil. Uh, he just got reworked. That's it. No notes there. Dr. Octagonopus is legendary, so we're not including him. Uh, Electro kind of doesn't do anything on her own. Sorry, not sorry, not wasting the bio gear. Uh, we'll put her in the same conversation as useless as him, but like probably worse. What do we got? Electra, same conversation because she's been reworked and it won't necessarily regret investment in the team i don't think but at the exact same time doesn't really seem to do anything for dark dimension and is still not uh the best use of mystic gear so garbage ghost rider uh ghost rider gets that a i don't think he's good in dark dimension but i do think he's good enough to invest in so and he's relatively i don't want to say inexpensive but worth the investment so not a highest priority best character for dark dimension but definitely you could do a lot worse so because tier lists are comparative by nature, there are a lot worse options than him. Green Goblin, LOL, LOL, LOL. Can't even find him. G. Oh, there he is. Oh, ultimate, ultimate Green Goblin. Whatever, dog shit. Uh, let's get rid of him. Oh, Hand. Oh, thank God. Hand Archer. Uh, Hand Assassin. Actually, Mystic goes up here. She's a healer. <laughs> uh... Hand sentries, okay. Not great, but cheap. Hand blade master by hand by iron fist. Not with your dick and someone else pushing. Jessica Jones, a little bit actually. Let's just fix that problem. Jessica Jones is fine. Kingpin sucks. Luke Cage, slightly better than sucks. Merc Lieutenant, slightly better than... S oh, wait, that's not Merc Lieutenant. That's Merc Sniper. Merc Lieutenant is like, whatever. Uh, a, a good team. He's probably okay. Same with Merc Riot Guard. He's cheap enough, and it's skill gear for him, tech gear for him. Should be fine. Merc Sniper, LOL, JK... Ms. Marvel. Not even good investment on the team he's used in, so that's useless. Ms. Marvel is actually a pretty decent investment. Like, get her up there. She'll be fine. She's the same quality as him. Like, you'll take advantage of him. You know, it'll be fine. Uh, Mysterio. Cool. Night Nurse. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, do you guys want the meme answer on this one? For Night Nurse? I can't tell. When his hand sentry better than Green Goblin? Hides the entire team, keeps the guys that are important alive. Green Goblin dies and does nothing. For Dark Dimension. Uh, what do we got? Night Nurse. I'm trying to figure out, do I meme Night Nurse out? Yeah. She's garbage. Can't even justify it, man. Like, maybe on the full team. But she's just terrible. Like, don't bring her in. Only a dummy would bring her in. That's for sure. Uh, Nobu is abysmal. No problem putting him in the trash. Rhino. Uh, I think you could do a lot worse than a high investment in Rhino, but I also don't think you care. Like, I don't think it matters that much. Hey, where's Scream? Where's Scream? It's S, right? Should be right here. What stature? There she is. 
She'll be in the same as Carnage. You really need other symbiotes to take the full advantage of her kit. And while we're at the symbiotes, here's symbiote Spider-Man. Uh, Venom's actually a little bit better than a lot of people give him credit for. Just because Venom on his own actually has... He's pretty sustainable and has a pretty decent kit. So I think Venom is a reasonable character, like, without his team. But I do think that... Uh, with his team, characters like Scream and Carnage are a little bit better. But I think Venom on his own is really good. Yeah, Venom is like the city version of Garbage Hella. I think it's pretty pretty reasonable. So I think he's fine there. Uh, I'm supposed to put She-Hulk somewhere, even though I haven't unlocked her. So Trash. Uh, Shocker exists. That's great. Shocker. Uh, oh, Swarm? Are you city too? We'll just get rid of you while I'm getting rid of Shocker. Where's Shocker? Why is it so hard? There he is. Garbage. Uh, Spider-Man. And Miles. Actually, Miles is a little bit better than Spider-Man, but Spider-Man is pretty fucking rancid. He's cheap. I'll give him a little bit more credit. Uh, and then Squirrel Girl. She's fine, but she's bio, so she can't be that good. So Squirrel Girl is, like, here... Uh, and then Vulture. Uh, where's Vulture? B. Cool. So, here you go. Uh, there are two new characters that are City. Moon Knight. I'm going to go ahead and just say Moon Knight and uh, uh, White Tiger are here. Uh, based exclusively on one piece of information. And that is that they are not available in the game right now. But... I just assume they're going to be characters worth investing in anyway. Uh, whether they're good for Dark Dimension, I don't care. I don't think you do either. Uh, so yeah, all these characters are trash. Yeah, this is it. Now we're done with the Dark Dimension 4 City tier list. And now we're going to move to the most important tier list of the night. We're going to move to... Potato Chips tier list. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of chips. If yours aren't here, I don't care. Uh, I scoured this for ages. It took me minutes to figure this out, guys. Minutes to get everything in. So let's go ahead. Purple. There are no mi middle grounds in this one. Everything is what you see is what you get. This took me minutes. So let's zoom. Let's zoom. Let's zoom. We, we could do better. We could do better. All right, guys. Starting right here, Ruffles. Uh, again, I'm not specifically tracking different types. I just found like sour cream and cheddar. If you're like Ruffles sucks, but this one isn't, like I don't care. This is not brands, this is types of chips. That's where we're going with. So are we ready? Cause we're starting. We're starting right now. Cheddar, sour cream. This is a pretty solid group, in my opinion. Um. A little bit worse than sour cream and onion. Hits a different spot. I think these are pretty okay. I don't think I'm going to buy them every time. I don't think I'm going out of my way for these chips. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're there, I'm not going to throw them away. I'm not going to just try to find something else. Uh, they're fine. Uh, would I buy them in a pinch? Yeah. Would I go to the store for them? Absolutely not. Uh, these are baked Cheetos. Specifically baked Cheetos. Uh, if you've ever had them, they are awesome. So we're going to throw them there and we're going to save a lot of time. We're also going to put crunchy Cheetos here and flaming hot baked Cheetos here. And all of the other Cheetos that are crunchy go in the A tier. You will go out of your way for these. These are delicious and amazing. Uh, the flaming hot Cheetos are not even kind of hot. They're like white people hot. So like you're fine. You know, they're like, oh, ranch is spicy. Like, that's how hot they are. You'll be fine. Uh, Fritos, chili cheese are among the greatest of all chips in the world. They can dip in literally anything. Uh, you go out of your way for them. They make your fingers smell like feet, which is either a benefit or a curse or uh, the sacrifice you have to make. These are the best chips in the fucking world. If you haven't had them yet, find them. These are amazing. Regular Fritos suck. These are Lay's Chicken and Waffles. If you've never had chicken and waffle chips, you guys haven't figured out what you're doing yet. These are amazing. 
Cheetos uh, Flaming Hot Fries are in the same kind of thing, but they're super weird. If you ever had those like weird potato sticks, they're not great. They're just like thick potato. They're not great. If you see them, eat them, but they're not out of their way. Uh, bacon Mac and Cheese is a top tier flavor of chip. Again, absolutely phenomenal. Red Bag of Doritos are trash, and you're trash if you fucking like them. Blue Bag of Doritos come from heaven, as do Spicy Street Taco Burritos. These literally are gifts from whatever deity you believe in to allow you to accept the fates that are before you in life. This is a trap. Uh, this is how they, this is like the, uh, like the, the gateway drug. You buy these and then you taste them. And then at, the, at what point are you ever injecting yourself with Doritos again? Never going to happen. Puffy Cheetos are dog shit. If you like Puffy Cheetos, you're dog shit. We're not even talking about it. Classic Lay's or whatever. Keto cooked corn. Like classic is just classic chips, right? I don't care what brands they are. Classic chips are just potato chips. You're never going to turn them away. You're not going to go out. Keto cooked are like a little bit better, but like non-flavored. No way. Jalapeno. That's a unique flavor. We're going in, boys. Wait, why is Ruffles? Oh, it's because of the, the type of chip. So this is just those flat garbage chips. And this is the wavy garbage fun stuff like here. This is, what is this? I can't even read this. R fried green tomato. I've never had this before. It's terrible in my brain. Honey barbecue chips is top tier. Sour cream and onion is top tier. Fritos always goes up top. Salt and vinegar chips. Sorry, guys. You're, if you like salt and vinegar chips, I just assume, I just assume you're a terrorist. Like, I just assume that you get text messages from ISIS. It's, they're the worst. Not even chancing. Lemon chips, get out of here. These are flaming hot puffy Cheetos, get out of here. Oh, oh, wait, these are crunchy, so they go up in the, in the good Cheeto section. Uh, wavy original Cheetos, which are not the same. All original chips are original. Ketchup flavored chicks, get out of here. I don't want my chips flavored like the thing I can always dip them in. Thank you very much. Sun chips. All flavors of sun chips are god tier. Every single flavor ever. Sun chips are the best. I've never seen these wavy chips before. Uh, Funyuns are god tier. No, that's higher. No question about it. These are kettle cooked jalapenos, which I assume are worse. No, they're both. Why do I have two of the same? Whatever. They're so good, we're going to keep them there. Uh, oven baked barbecue. Is that different? Probably not. Barbecue chips are, are good. Uh, slightly salted chips are significantly worse than regular chips. Like, I don't want lightly salted chips. That's terrible. I also don't want salt and vinegar chips. These are flaming hot Doritos puffs. These are for terrorists. Here's more barbecue. These are the flat barbecue chips. So we get the oven baked barbecue. We got, uh, where did I put the other barbecue chips? I don't remember. Where did I put the other barbecue chips? Barbecue, barbecue, I thought I had three. Oh, they're honey barbecue. Yeah, way better than regular barbecue chips. Uh, and then, what are these, flaming Hot Funyuns? Oh, God, I've never had these, but I assume, I, I like, I feel like flaming Hot does not benefit Funyun in any way, so we're, all, we're calling that as though, like, I'll give it a shot, but I'm not in. And then whatever these are, they say veggie on them, and that's not what I'm about. So, here you go, guys. Let's zoom out. Let's do a side-by-side -side on these. We're going to go ahead and click save and download on this. We're going to call this DD4 City Duders. Save. Download the image. We're going to call this one Best Chips in the Universe, including Pluto and Detroit. Cool. How's potato not a veggie? Because it's a, it's a starch. All right, guys, here they are. Download the image. Both of these are ready. Just so you guys have both pictures ready to go. You can minimize that. We can do this. We can do this. 
Here it is, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this stupid tier list. Tier lists are useless and very stupid. Did I skip Punisher on purpose? Yes, I also skipped one other character on purpose because there was no reason to, like, think about it. Like, yeah, you can work on Punisher, but I didn't really need to talk about him as a character because, like, he's a skill character. Do it or don't. Like, it doesn't matter. Also, tier lists are useless, and it doesn't matter. And if you're using this as advice, you probably should talk to somebody. A professional... Get some help. I don't know how to help you other than that. Same thing on the chips. If you're coming to me for advice on potato chips, dude, I don't know what you taste like. I've never eaten you. I don't know what happens in your tongue. We have to figure that out as a family together. But if you ever were wondering, geez, I wonder what Tony thinks about potato chips. Here they are. Where do you get the picture of chips? I put them up on YouTube. So whenever the YouTube goes live, the, they'll be up there. So this video is done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for putting you through it. This is very stupid. Please stop watching these. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Skinjili, and I'll catch you later.